quit. This for the 13th with consecutive <laughs> game, I'm taking the Celtics. We will see you at the half. Enjoy the action. Game six of the finals starts now. Bring it back here. Reflection. Pay my respect. It's the finals. And we know it's his day. The Warriors can wrap it up with a win. Want to win by any, want to win by any means necessary. Yes. Winning, winning by all costs. I, I just might have to shut you down. Bring it back here. We understand what we need to do. We need to do. Knowing how hard a closeout game is. Knowing what one more win means. Show me respect. Making six finals, you have a lot of opportunities. Want to have one more to show for it and one more win. And really kind of embrace what we've been able to accomplish just to be back on this stage. The Warriors can wrap it up with a win. Wet behind the ears while I've been spitting darts for years. Don't make me embarrass you in front of your so-called peers. Better be confident, right? We ain't got to win two in one day. We just got to win one game. game. Determined to bring back another world championship. One more win. One more, one more win. We just got to win one game. game. Determined to bring back another world championship. Bring it back here. In the history of the NBA Finals, Game 6s have featured some of the greatest performances in league history. Some to clinch a championship and hoist a trophy. Others to fight off elimination and force a Game 7 to keep their hopes alive. And some have been spectacular in defeat as their season comes to a bitter end. Who will make their moment in this year's Game 6? It's the Golden State Warriors and the Boston Celtics in the NBA Finals presented by YouTube TV. The Warriors with clutch play in the fourth quarter of games four and five to take their first lead of the series and their chance to clinch tonight. The Boston Celtics 3-0 when staring at elimination in these playoffs. How will they respond after these two consecutive defeats? And good evening, everyone. Welcome to Game 6 of the NBA Finals with Mark Jackson and Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand, Lisa Salters with us as well. Two things can happen tonight. We either crown a new champion or we start looking forward to an epic Game 7, which would be Sunday in San Francisco. Mark, let's start with the team that wants that Game 7. The Celtics very confident they can win tonight and live to play another day. What do they have to do to make sure that happens? Well, it starts with your best player acting like he's your best player and the best player on the floor. That points the finger directly to Jason. Tatum. He's got to find a way to get it done. Here's a guy that in his, at his best, he's dominating the ball game. Look at the impressive numbers. Effective, efficient, and the thing that jumps out to me, in the win. He's taking care of the basketball. 14 turnovers in the loss. Your best player has to secure the basketball. This is a guy that looked eyeball to eyeball in the playoffs with LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kevin Durant, and Jimmy Butler. Give credit to the Warriors defense, but I give credit to the recklessness and carelessness at times to Jason Tatum. He's got to secure the basketball and win his matchup by making plays for himself and for his teammates. That's where it starts, forcing a game seven, Mike. All right, Mark, meanwhile for Golden State, they had a very impressive victory in this building in game four to even up the series. Jeff, our Domino's pregame HQ question is, for them to do it again here in front of this raucous crowd, what do they have to do? Well, Steph Curry has to be great. He was spectacular through the first four games of this series. Really struggled in game five, shooting the ball, and improbably, they still won that game. And even when he's not at his best, he creates space for other guys. Look how they hug Steph Curry in the corner and Klay Thompson on the wing. That allows Andrew Wiggins to blow by his defenders and have free reign to the rim. And Andrew Wiggins has played the two best games in his life in the last two. Mike, does he have one more in him? We will find out again our Domino's pregame HQ. Every time the Celtics season has been in jeopardy, they have found a way. Another chance tonight, another challenge. Can they force a game seven? Right now, let's get things started. Send it to longtime PA announcer, Eddie Palladino. Good evening and welcome to game six of the 2022 NBA Finals presented by YouTube TV. Featuring the Western Conference champion, Golden State Warriors. And the Eastern Conference champion, Boston Celtics! At 
this time, we ask those who are able to please rise as we honor those who have served and continue to serve our country with the presentation of our nation's colors. Tonight, the colors are being presented by the United States Coast Guard Base Boston Color Guard. And now, for the singing of our national anthem, please welcome a critically acclaimed tenor with the Boston Pops, Fran Rogers. Fran Rogers. They have the championship DNA. Can they close it out tonight for yet another title? This presentation of the NBA Finals continues after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Playtime mode is the big league. Go. Playtime mode is the big league. Go. Playtime mode is the big league. Go. Playtime. The NBA Finals are presented by YouTube TV, where you get more than cable for less than cable. YouTube TV, everything live TV should be. Try it free. Welcome back to the NBA Finals presented by YouTube TV on a beautiful Thursday night in Boston, Massachusetts. These fans will watch their team in person for the final time this season, hoping that they'll be able to watch them again this weekend on the road in San Francisco. As we get set for game six, let's check in for the first time with Lisa Salters. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Mike. Well, the Celtics can draw some confidence from the fact that they were able to overcome a 3-2 deficit against the Bucks in these playoffs, and they beat the Heat in a Game 7 in Miami. Ime Odoka said they spent some of the last few days re-watching film of those games, and he said his message to his team tonight, we've been in this situation before and have played some of our best basketball. Marcus Smart told us the goal tonight for the Celtics to enforce their will, something he said they had done consistently throughout these playoffs, but only in a few quarters of these finals. Smart said we've got to get back to enforcing our will to give ourselves a chance. Mike? All right, Lisa, let's look at our starting lineups delivered by Taco Bell. Steve Kerr going with that same starting lineup. Three straight games now with Otto Porter, along with Thompson, Curry, Green, and Wiggins. Looney will come off the bench. Meanwhile, the usual starting five for Ime Udoka and the Boston Celtics with Robert Williams at the center position. Well, Game 6 has given us some very special memories over the years. How about last year, Giannis Antetokounmpo, that 50-point game as the Bucks won their first championship in 50 years. Magic Johnson had that 42-point Game 6 back in 1980. Isaiah Thomas, who's in the building tonight, back in 1988, had 43, 25 and a quarter. Some of the great performances ever in a Game 6. What are we going to see here tonight? What we know is the crowd is absolutely ready once again. 